here's a summary of my intentions and my total art practice. Um, I actually found these four points in my notes that I was going through. And uh, I think some people were asking for kind of a summary of things. So this isn't really a summary of my basic idea um, presented by my philosophy system. I feel like that's actually a lot harder to say, like what's one thing that I would say about my philosophy system. But here's a summary of just like the, the ongoing total art, right? The sort of combination of putting out records and going on tour, uh, presenting art shows and film screenings and sort of living as an aesthetic being and uh, this uh, philosophical output like on this channel and on my Substack, um, how they're all tied together. Um, um, w w without describing the, the details of that structure, which I did last, uh, last, last decan, like what is my intention? So the intention has four parts. So first of all, um, I am very interested in opening a portal to a deeper layer of emotional energy than, um, than what is usually experiencing. And, you know, that's mainly something I seek to do through the music. You know, that's, that's what, you know, if someone likes liturgy, they usually like it because it has that effect right the, the the music is kind of designed to like really sort of floor you and change your perspective and like like actually sort of make contact with this with this other layer you know that's kind of scary and uh but like profound and meaningful and deep that's that's like always there that is really sort of nourishing to have access to, but where, uh, you know, we usually kind of shut it out um, in our day-to-day -day lives. So I'm trying to just sort of make contact with that through the music, especially. Um, and then through the intersection of the practices to awaken a love of history, beauty, science, and just kind of like the whole vibe of like greatness and tradition, um, even though obviously it's very radical and very futurist at the same time, um, I am just really interested in, um, uh, like I don't wanna say education or like pedagogy, but like I, the like the way I see it is that there are um like there are cultural silos that sort of function to limit limit people's uh like access to or like not even access to because everyone has access to everything kind of but like discourage genuine curiosity um, about, um, aspects of culture that are not, like, so new or so entertaining, um, I, I just really think that, like, science and great art are very important, um, and that, uh, they, they, they get a bad rap in a way or something, and that, uh, there's, there's a real freedom that comes from, just like having a desire to like sort of understand and appreciate stuff. And this is a really kind of conservative sounding view, but it's very um, timely, I think. I think that our our world could use more of it. And so, and, and I'm interested in, you know, partly it's through, I think, the, the, the sound world of the music again, but also in, you know, 
um, ha having having this nexus <clears throat> between the different dimensions of my work, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, and then just the stuff that I like that I, that I sort of talk about. So that's two, three, is then to um, to awaken, to or just to encourage, and also to receive um, love, compassion, tolerance, sincerity. Like I'm very interested in the feeling of sincerity, and the the like, um, the attitude of like really caring about other people. You know, um, like the 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 sense of love that I sort of feel um, around performing liturgy means so much to me, and um, uh, you know I I hope to kind of just encourage that attitude. Uh, you know, it's like it's very possible to not have. Um, this active practice of compassion and um, uh, and that's something that is altogether different from point number one you know it's not uh, like it's not so much the like sublime sort of almost scary profundity uh, it's 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 not unrelated but you can have that without this, and you can have this without that too. I think a lot of, like, Protestant Christianity, even a lot of, like, kind of corporate Buddhism and stuff, they have this and not that as well. Um, so to just kind of, you know, I mean, just be, you know, I'm I'm a node in this big network of people uh, and processes and institutions, and I, you know, I want my node to be emanating love. Um, and, uh, and number four is to be a prototype for a new type of creation that is always simultaneously philosophical, musical, and dramaturgical at the same time. And, I mean, this is the most speculative one. Uh, I'm sure those others all kind of make sense in a way, or they sound like a lot of things seek to foster those things but um not everything but a lot of things but you know i uh i think that my in my imagination the humans of the future will be doing all these things these three things all at once all the time that that, that life will be comprised of um, ongoing building of concepts and musical works and uh, like self-reflexive dramatic narrative um, that is life you know and that leaves behind sculptures and relics and that kind of thing that like uh, we're just like life will, will just be um, be this perichoresis of these ac activities and so I'm uh, not not too many people do what I do right now. Maybe no one, very few people. But my vision and hope and sort of suggestion is what, what I imagine is a future where this is the the norm, you know. And so so instead of and and that it's how people live their lives, like actually, you know. So like instead of like going to work and that kind of thing. Uh, this this is what life is, um, and uh, and and not just making music, drama, and philosophy, but doing the first three things that I mentioned here. You know, creating love and profundity, and like love of culture, and and like solving problems and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, that's kind of my intention. <laughs>